Friday. It's Friday. And I know that you only see three of us yes. because Miss Quad is very busy today. As usual. Very busy. As usual. But we wish you well, Miss Quad. We love yes. you dearly. And yes. we will see you when you get back. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. How about that? And in that, since we said, Miss Quad, Selena, are you going to do the honors on this Friday? I will. Yes. Okay, then. Uh, today is Friday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I'm saying that we should just be fervent. Yes. yes. A fervent Friday. Be mm. passionate be intentional, you know, be, be uh, 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 focused and, and going forth with your dreams yes. today. Mm -hmm. Be fervent in your mission today. I love so, it. Yes. Fervent love it. Friday. Fervent Friday. Yep. It's going to be a great day. Really, really excited about it. So let's welcome the good people to our show. Well, why not? Let's do that. Hey, welcome to Sister Circle Live. I am Rashawn Ali. I'm Selena Johnson. And I'm Trina Braxton. That is right. Yes, we are all here and really excited about today's show. Um, this is Sister Circle Live. We have a really good time. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, we're very opinionated. Yes, we are. And yeah. I would have to say we are very Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. and, yeah, exactly. And the pretty continues because we have Marlo Hansen from Yay! the Real Housewives of Atlanta <laughs> joining us today. She is looking snatched yes. and As good, always. Yes. like it's a, a snack. Beautiful women. Beautiful yes. women. Yes. yes, from Huntsville. Yes, yes. Honey. Yes. So, yes, yes. They are bad they too. Are bad they're too. The bad. Yes. They're bad. They're bad. Love yes, them. So we got a lot to talk about today, and yes. we've got some great things happening. Selena, you're gonna kick us off because you went down to the slutty vegan girl. What? I've been trying to get there. You I know that time that she came down here and yes. I didn't get to I didn't get to get none. Right. So I, I I called over there. Shout out to Pinky. Hey Pinky. I called over there and I asked her if I could come and get some before the crowd got bad because mm -hmm. her lines are literally around wow. like wow. That's what I'm talking like, about. It's like yes. around yes. Africa. Come on, guys. I'm so proud of her and Me her too. and her or, you know and uh, Slutty Vegan. It is such uh, um, it's doing so well. Yes. And, you know and a black woman black business yes. for health and fitness. Yes. yes. You can't go wrong. You sure can. can. Yes. So and the how was it? Girl. <gasps> the burger was so good. I know. Was it delicious? It was delicious. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I mean, like, you, you really don't need meat. Mm -hmm. You really don't need, uh, you know, beef. As a burger, yeah. Yes. So th does she do her own uh, patty, or is it, it, does she use the Impossible Burger? She, no, she she said that she adds, she starts from there, but she adds her own things. Yes. To make it better, you know, and it's and it's all plant based though, so yes. that's key. And then guys, I went to go see Glass. <gasps> really, I want to see that really bad. You are a movie buff. If James McAvoy don't get a, 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 a an Oscar mm. this year. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I I don't want to watch the Oscars ever again. This dude right here yeah. in this yellow shirt. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Probably one of my favorite actors from here on out. Yeah, really? Well, he was great in Split. Listen, Went this is an extension of Split. Oh, God, it is cheapest. absolutely groundbreaking television. It is absolutely amazing. You know, M. Night Shyamalan always has a message yeah. in the mm -hmm. end. Yeah, yeah. The message was cold. The acting of Bruce Willis. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that was Samuel. Samuel right there. Jackson. Mm -hmm. yeah, a... You know, just phenomenal. Like, I saw it at nighttime and stayed up. So yeah. that's deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was it was amazing. I could see it like again and again and again. Yeah. I love awesome. to get your movie You need to get reviews. that thing, you know, I'm I am i am not promoting anyone. But you know when you can <laughs> you see three movies or when you can see three movies a week for just twenty dollars. I know. <laughs> but I know. Selena's right. very like she has to have a whole setup it's right. Be but, the right kind but of what place I'm saying too, is, well, it's on it's at Theaters. Okay, see that ain't gonna work for me. Oh, you know, it like works for me. It's ones. nearby to yeah. me. I like, I'm, I'm very lazy. I like to push the button. Yeah. yeah. And have the people come to me. See, I like that too. But when yeah. it says at a theater near you, it, it's nearest to me. Well, then you need to go to a, a theater nearest you and go. Yeah, right. 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 Very, good. very, very good. And also, I'm very excited about my debut today. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, the debut of my first single. It is just a snippet mm -hmm. because we're working on um, the actual full visual and the full song, and all of that will come in the following. Week. Right. So I'm extremely excited for that. I'm excited for you. We are. I'm nervous. Yeah, you know, I gotta turn into my journalist. So yes. what does it feel like after <laughs> five years uh, releasing a song that is yes. all you? And then how are you different now than you were five years That's ago? That's a very good question because you're a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'm, I'm a grown woman, mm -hmm. and I have grown in just five years, obviously, but just grown throughout the course of my career. And this song really touches on what we as women 
inclusively mm -hmm. are dealing with what we're up against what we go through and this song is the voice yeah this is what we've been wanting to say but have not been allowed to say mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna have to take the rap for it and a lot of people are not gonna be happy at the, some of the stuff I'm saying but I'm blowing the whistle on a lot of people and I don't care okay Ooh. because as women you know we're supposed to be demure and you know not talk and things of that nature this song is very in your face and um, it just I'm nervous to come you know you always have that scared yeah. feeling but I'm confident that this is the right foot forward. Yeah. And I know that God yeah. is with me. Yes. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like this is the right time for you, Celine. Lee. Me too. If I, if I can say, it just seems like this five year span has just become this benchmark of a moment for you. Because yes. it was five years for your book. Yes. And then five years for this song coming up. God, pay attention. Just move it. This is my little inner journal. It's like, <laughs> I just, I just believe like this is your time and this is your moment because you've sown these seeds for five years and now it's coming to fruition. I just, I receive that for you. Amen. I I that really do. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you guys like it. No, we will. I'm sure. Will. I know we will. I know we will. So that is coming up a little bit later on in the show. So uh, let's get to our daily feed so we can get closer to that time. Yes. How about that? Yes. All right. Cardi B has kicked off 2019 with the same successful energy that carried her through 2018. Mm -hmm. She was announced as one of the performers on the Grammys this year, of course, where she's nominated for five awards, including Album of the Year. And her fellow Album of the Year nominee, Janelle Monae, will also be performing. The show will air February the 10th. In addition to all of that greatness on the Grammys and, and having Senate major Minority Leader Chuck Schumer tweeting about her, Cardi B will be the face of the new Pepsi campaign all right. that will premiere during next month's Super Bowl. You made it when you on the Pepsi commercial. What? That's it. Yes. No, nobody that's a, that ain't hitting on nothing is on the Pepsi. <laughs> right. You, know what I'm saying? You, are, you got it all going on if you're on yeah. the Pepsi. She's the people's champ. I mean, look about, look at her. She's the people's champ. You always root. I, I wouldn't call her an underdog, but you know. She you, was, though. Yeah, yeah but she, she essentially, it, yeah. and she made it. I was listening to her on the way into work that I was like, that girl, Cardi, she is she running it. Yes. I love it. And, she, and just, she, she's so real. Yes, she's she so is. She's so real. Yeah. She yes. persevered through odds. Yes. You know, you always love to see someone that perseveres through odds mm -hmm. uh, accomplish their dreams yes. Yes. And, get, and get a hold of them because right. that's what's inspiring for us all. Absolutely. Yes. No matter what it is, that inspires everybody. Yes. And then no matter where you came from, your yes. past does not define you. Um, it's where you're going in the future right. and what has already been set up for you in the stratosphere if you mm -hmm. follow yep. the vibration yep. to get somebody focused. Yes. Yes. Follow, she remained follow. a constant. Yes. She right. did not change who she was from the bottom to the top. That's that's right. I love her for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Kevin Hart is another one who continues to secure Cure the bag. His movie, <laughs> The Upside, debuted at number one. And according to Deadline, he has signed on to star in the live action feature, Monopoly. The film is set to be directed by Tim Story, but no writer or dates have been announced. But how are they going to make Monopoly? A, how do you see this all playing okay. out? I see it as like a Jumanji kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. To where he gets you know, sucked into the game or whatever, and he's gonna go around the board and he gets chased by the, you know, the railroads and all that other stuff, and that's China, you know. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Right, that might be. I mean, that's the only way I see it happening. Yes. And running around the board. Unless he's like a businessman and they make right. it like a, like a real life story. Yeah, you know, and buys like someone up all buying, the, yeah. You know, but that, that would be boring. boring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will see and uh, definitely keep you updated as that continues to develop. Well, a judge in Chicago found three police officers not guilty of mm. covering up information in the 2014 killing of Laquan McDonald. Uh, this comes after a jury convicted Officer Jason Van Dyke of second degree murder and 16 counts of aggravated battery in October, marking the first time in 50 years that a Chicago police officer had been convicted of murder for an on-duty incident. Uh, he will be sentenced today. Good. Well, yeah. Uh, let's not forget that racism is systemic mm -hmm. and that it doesn't go away overnight. Absolutely. So, you know, we got one and it's going to take time to be able to penalize mm -hmm. all parties. Yes. You know, it, the good old boys are still in, you know, <laughs> they're still in power. Mm -hmm. So we just have to keep fighting and, you know, keep, keep bringing awareness with, you know, with our show, with, um, you know, People like Sean King yes. and you know D.L. Hewley and you know uh, Chance the Rapper, mm -hmm. people that are you know con continuously bringing situations like this to the light. Yeah, that's all that we can do. You know, what I'm saying what's yes. done is done, but. We just have to keep remembering that we still have a lot of work to do. We yes, do. yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, a lawsuit, speaking of work to do, this is this story right here. A lawsuit has been filed against an Ohio General Motors plant where allegedly nooses were found two years ago and whites-only signs appeared 
outside of the bathrooms. The suit claims that the company failed to take corrective action after black employees reported what was going on, uh, this acts of racism, and states that the harassment is still happening to this day. According to NBC News, the workers are setting, seeking punitive damages and asking the company to take measures such as installing cameras to increase security. I know it's easier said than done to, to quote unquote get another job, but that, you know that, that's not fair, but they should be able to come to work and work peacefully. Well, we knew that the people who wrote it, they did it out of ignorance, because first of all, in that particular instance, whites did not require an apostrophe. Oh my God. And then there's that. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> what are we doing out here in these streets? Oh, and then there's that. that. Right. And we just talked about systemic racism. I just want to know, who are these people with all this time on their hands right. and all these signs and nooses and carrying on? Yeah. And, and How like, are they supposed to be down to the job doing work? work? See, this is why the cars down to the General Motors is messing up all the time. That's why, that's why I only fool with infinity. Oh, my God. That's why I only fool with infinity. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, uh, yeah, that is unfolding. So we'll definitely keep you updated on that. I love this story. Uh, the <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles were dealt a crushing yeah. blow mm. okay. last weekend. You can take it. Jeez. In their divisional round loss to the New Orleans Saints. Mm. That's tough one. But receiver baby. Alshon Jeffrey, honey, received report, uh, support from a number of fans, including a second grader named Abigail, Aww. who told Alshon, it's okay to lose a game. And the Eagles couldn't have won the Super Bowl without him last year. Aww. But the way he got that ball snatched. <laughs> Man. Man. Okay. Ball. So to show ball. his appreciation for us, exactly, for, for, from some of his youngest uh, supporters, Alshon surprised the second graders from Westchester, and by the looks on their little faces, he made their day. All right, Alshon, Yay. he had to go to the little people because yeah. the big people ain't like, messing with you right now. Okay, Aww. I love he, you. He's kicking so himself, though. He is. I mean, well, just, Sean, I don't kick him. He just let it slip down. right through his face. Yeah. Yeah. Which is right there. A lot of times, our opportunities just slip right through our face. Uh, right, so but, man, I'm, I mean, the poor Eagles. When you get too comfortable, it's like Y'all, there's something that's unfolding for these Falcons fans. The Saints could be in the dome. Yeah. We're going to pray against it. Well, I'm not going to pray, pray against, against anybody. Somebody might be praying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that was my thought. Send us your thoughts on our daily feed at Sister Circle TV. When we